So, you know, it was good. Holy cow. I went to Pine Creek. Nick was a baby at the very first part. So we ditched him and Brenda. And we did it, and it was awesome. Lots of water, really cool water canal thing that we swam through. Uh, Kendra forgot her little gloves again, as usual. <laughs> so we used ascenders to get up and get them. And then we had to go through a huge rock field of hate and we had to slide through it and scramble through it the whole time. It was pretty horrible, but it was but it was also very good. But it was really fun and beautiful, steep, steep walls, and you can see your breath a lot. And my favorite part was the last rappel. It was about 100 feet, 95 feet of that was free. The bolt was on a boulder, and you went about three feet, and then a sheer overhang, and you're just in the air repelling into a spring, which was really cool. And then after that we ate lunch and hiked down a boulder field and, and since we didn't have a car, Nick's car or Brenda's car, Travis had to sit on Kendra's lap on the way home and his head was out the window and we almost got it. On a scale of one to 10, it was a, I don't know, nine and a half. <laughs> was freaking awesome. And you really missed out. There were five of us and we made the mistake of putting our wetsuits on before we started the canyon. So we were blazing hot, sweating in our wetsuits before we started. Henry lost her gloves at like the beginning of the canyon, so we had to go back up the thing and go grab them. Well, I guess we didn't have to, but anyway, we did it. I know, that was your idea, Travis. I, I watched that at home off TV. So, we started on a very easy, simple hike with occasional times where we didn't know where we were going. And then it got to a point where we were like, we don't know where the heck we're going. But then we saw some cairns and we weren't sure if they were cairns for us or somebody else. So then we followed them and it took us down and we got into the gulch and it was pretty awesome. And then Subway was amazing and lots of awesome pools and Nick actually got in the water. So that was great. And it was just beautiful and amazing and I like looked around me and I felt like I was in the Maze Runner movie where like they're in the maze because it was like just huge, I don't know, corridors and then and then we hot tubbed in cold water in wetsuits and then we came down and I slipped off of some slippery mossy riverbed and didn't feel good. And I wore sweats for some reason to this thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a good trip. It really sucked, but it was good. Like it's the type that like you feel good about later. And you also had a good time at part of it. But at the end you like wanted it to be done like three hours before. It took a half hour to get the permit. So we started a half an hour late. <laughs> However, I wanted to do the Russell Gulch approach, which adds 300 foot rappels, because the normal subway route only has like 130 foot rappel. But everybody was afraid we wouldn't get back in time, so we scratched that. So that was very sad. But I'm still satisfied, because the canyons in the subway were amazing. And when we hit the log in the subway, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've seen this in a million different pictures. And so I snapped a few pics for myself and the hike outside. So that's pretty much it.
Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>